Welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of basketball at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from Leon Spencer Court at Historic Cardinal Gym on the campus of TDCC in Athens, Texas on this Saturday afternoon for a Region 14 Conference contest as the sixth ranked Cardinals go for a ninth straight win and try to protect that national ranking against the Victoria College Pirates in a Region 14 Conference contest. I'm Benny Rogers, and I'm joined, like by always, by Tim Howard. As I bring Tim in, Tim, as we look at the numbers for these two teams coming in, the Cardinals 14-2 overall, 5-0 in conference play, Victoria 4-10 in overall, 1-4 in conference play. Those are the numbers I want to look beyond here and look at this, how these teams are averaging. The Cardinals are averaging 82.6 points a game, giving up 70.8. Victoria's average is 79.6, but giving up 91.9. Sounds like a game that plays into the hands of the Cardinals on paper, but again, we get in trouble when we play the games on paper. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be something that the, uh, the, the the Buccaneers are going to have to really tighten up on. They, they can't allow Trinity Valley to get off to that uh, quick start in 91 a game. Man, that's, that's playing well in your favor. So you gotta, you got you to gotta proceed with caution against this team from uh, Victoria, though. Their last game Wednesday night, they took Navarro to overtime before losing 102 to 96. So they're, they're, they'll play a street game with if you want they, to play. They will get up and put points on the board themselves, as you mentioned. Uh, that I, I'm a little jealous for what that one must have been like. Oh, that, no. I, that must have been a lot of fun to see. It, but it looks like to me it, it plays into the Cardinals' hands. If they made the commitment to play defense today, it sounds like they've got a huge edge. Yeah, and I think that that is one of the things that Coach uh, uh, Levinson and his squad have, have wanted to really emphasize. Hey, let, let's put, put more uh, – make it tough on them to get to the board. Make them tough on them to get – Buckets. Don't give up anything easy. Of course, the Cardinals had a close call in their last game, too, winning 94-90 on the road against Coastal Bend in a game in which they were up 52-35 at the half. Yeah, they were kind of in cruise control, and <laughs> that one got away from them, but they they weren't, they, you know, the good, the good news is they got the win and, and were able to, to fight back or c keep control. The bad news is you were up 17, so, uh, you know, yeah. maybe it's one of those things where you can learn without getting the, uh, the tarnish on the record. You know, that cruise control control can get you in trouble on the highway too <laughs> well uh yeah I'm, I'm flashing back to one time having cruise control on in a rainstorm not the time to have it on cruise control take it off cruise control uh, but absolutely you, you definitely can learn uh from that and fortunate like we said they got the win improving now to uh five and oh in conference play and uh looking to get to six and oh today well, and the Cardinals have two huge games. Well, I take it back. they got a week of huge games. The rest of the season is, is huge games because next Wednesday night, they close out their play against the South Zone going to Lee, who, oh, by the way, going to the action today, was also undefeated in conference play. Yeah, so that, you know, you don't, uh, no one wants to look ahead for sure. But if things hold, hold steady, that's going to be a, a fun battle here. On Wednesday night. As a matter of fact, the Cardinals' next two games will be on the road at Lee and at, at Tyler before playing a home a week from uh, in two weeks from today against Navarro. Yeah, so we'll we'll definitely get a chance to start getting into the teeth of the uh, you know conference play. Yeah, when the North starts playing the North, that's when the, it, it's big boy basketball. Absolutely. And we and saw it, a great game here against Blinn the other night as well on the Cardinal side of things. Yeah, they they uh, speaking of that win against Blinn, that improved them. Uh, in in conference play, got them the the win this past uh, win Saturday, 81-73 was the the final in that one. And it was a tight ball game all the way. All the way. It never looked like either team was gonna, you know, get get up and down on the other. And that was uh, a, a big win. They're all huge. But what we always say. Uh, in Region 14, you got to control home court. You got to protect home court. You have to win at home and get what you can on the road. That's kind Absolutely. of always been the theory behind it and everything. By the way, speaking of road wins, how about the Lady Cardinals today going on the road to Tyler and winning 69 to 57 over the Apache Ladies in a bounce back game after losing a tough one here at home Wednesday night, 64 to 62, the 23rd ranked blend. Yeah, Coach Precious Ivy and her squad. Congrats to them uh, getting back to one and one in, in, in conference play. But it would have been easy to kind of you know lick your wounds a little bit and be. But they don't. They they tighten up. They go out and they get that win at Wagstaff just a few moments ago. So, big W over in the Rose City this afternoon. We are talking men's basketball today. However, the Cardinals are at home against Victoria College Pirates. The Cardinals come into the shooting today, 49.9 from the floor team. So they're a very good shooting team. You'll take that, man. I tell you, field goal percentage at uh, one out of two, absolute. Don't you look at that. 
free throw percentage for Victoria College, 77.1. That's as high as we've ever seen a team come in here, as I can recall. Yeah, you, you uh, put them on the line, you can bank on it. I mean, <laughs> it, it's it's a pretty pretty sure bet. So that's one thing they want to do is not not get in that bonus or not let them get into the bonus. That that. Uh, hurt them the other day in that blend game. It did. And another stat that jumps off the page of me is in the three-point shooting percentages. The Cardinals are hitting 35.5%, and Victoria's hitting 259 So almost a 10-point differential in the three-point three line. Yeah, that, that'll, uh, that'll bode well when things are going like that. When you're hitting from beyond the arc, getting that three ball to fall, uh, Trinity Valley is, is definitely um, ready to to get things rolling here and good luck to them today as we're we're getting close man it's almost time for region 14 action and there's a beautiful afternoon is the the, the the worst is yet to come is what we're saying here weather wise here in Athens folks yeah we're we're uh we're <laughs> we're batting down the hatches man I mean it you know everybody's got all their milk and bread and five weeks of groceries just in case <laughs> it, was 61, it was 61 when I got him out of the vehicle to come into the gym about an hour and a half ago and I think by the time we go to bed tonight it's going to be down in the 20s <laughs> yeah it's going to be and, and going down from there so we, we'll be we'll be ready to get this one in course, glad it happened today we realize we got folks who are listening from all parts of the country though and some of them are saying y'all can handle that they're, surely. they're laughing <laughs> uncontrollably right now so so we are glad you're with us today. We'll have a little bit of a, we'll have a fairly sized crowd today. The students aren't back on campus. Our classes don't resume for the spring semester until Tuesday. And a lot of, we do have the cheer squad here. And if you got the cheer squad here, you got a half a capacity crowd already. That's for sure. And I see uh, some of the, the uh, Stingerettes getting ready for action today. So, uh, I'm sorry, the Cardettes getting ready for, to represent down here. And so it, it'll be a lively crowd, uh, but definitely not, 100% yet with students back on campus. Football team's not back yet. That's right, that's right. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to turn it over to the uh, public dress announcer for the introduction of the national anthem and the starting lineups. And we'll be joining you on the other side. You're watching Cardinal Basketball on the Cardinal Sports Network. Fans, and welcome to game day at the Athens campus of Trinity Valley Community College. Today's matchup is between Victoria College and Trinity Valley Community College. At this time, would you please stand, gentlemen, remove your head covers as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. And now the starting lineups for Victoria College Buccaneers from Lockhart, Texas, number two, Ja Rashawn Gulley. Gulley's averaging 11.9 points a game. Miller's got 24 three-pointers. He's averaging 9.7 points a game. Taylor White is averaging 20 points a game. He's got nine three-pointers on the season. Makai is averaging 11.2 points a game, 3.4 assists, he's got 10 three-pointers. Denham is averaging 10.8 points a game. 
The Mods averaging 16.9 points a game. Has 49 three-pointers. The North Pony Falcon, Devin Franklin, has 14 three-pointers. is averaging 7.5 points a game. And Cissé is averaging 5.4 points and 5.5 assist, uh, rebounds a game. It is a Saturday afternoon in Athens, Texas. It is Region 14 basketball. It's Trinity Valley versus Victoria. And it is Tim Howard with the play-by-play. -play. Thank you, Benny Rogers. Ready to jet here at uh, the start of this one. And if the introductions are anything compared to what we're about to see. I'm, I'm thinking we got a great game. Both teams at uh, end of season form with that intro and the showboating coming out no, the floor. No doubt. Now here's, here's, the, to me, here's the key to this game. Yeah. The Cardinals commitment to play defense. If the Cardinals play defense, they're in good shape. But if they decide to get into a track, maybe Victoria, it might play into Victoria's hands just a little bit. Absolutely. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Thank you for joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network set for Region 14 action. Trinity Valley hosts Hosting Victoria College, and that will be tracked down by Dorsey, bringing it up for the Cardinals. It was about this time last year, Tim, that Mackay took over the offense for the Cardinals and led them to the national tournament, a Region 14 title in the national tournament. Well, he never looked back either. Just, uh, just a, a dynamite player, and uh, let's we'll see what they do here. Bynum from the left side, not there, knocked out of bounds, last touch by Cissé. Amon's been struggling a little bit from three-point range the last two or three games that we've seen him. He carried them the first half of the season from three-point range, so if he gets a shooting touch back with the others that have picked up their games, the Cardinals should be in really good shape. Yeah, absolutely. Bynum uh, hitting right at, uh, let's see, 30, 44 percent. So not used to seeing him struggle from behind the arc. He gathers it on that baseline. Thought for a second he's in trouble, but they work it around. Now Dorsey over to Johnson. Here come the Cardinals. Into the lane of the trees, hanging, and a foul coming down on top of him was Jared Hall, number 23. There. Credit to the credit to Victoria on the offensive end, though, Tim. The Cardinals are playing great man defense, and Victoria did a good job of getting a good look at the goal and just missed the shot. Yeah, that's a, a good point there because they, they got the opportunity, didn't convert and execute. So here in the first minute of play, get a chance to get that uneven number there. And looked at the free throw go through and then caught the replay as well. See Johnson able to knife through the defenders. This is the second. Cardinals hitting 65.3 from the free throw line coming into the game. Come on. Making them work to get it over the timeline. They do. Baseline jumper is good. Count the bucket there for Houston. Kind of looked off at the kind of looked off the defender and then took the shot. Yeah, Abel Houston uh, did a good job there looking him off and then delivers the baseline jumper. So v Victoria with its first lead of the contest. Opening moments here of this one with the Cardinals. Moving some motion now. Franklin for three. Not there. The putback is not there. Battle. It's on the floor. Finally controlled by Houston. Cardinals will match up here. Coming down the floor. Big pace here early. Houston for three. Way off the mark. That's pulled down by Bynum. Bynum running up the defender. Dorsey left wing. Not there. Cardinals over three for three point lines thus far. Not getting them to fall. Here's Bynum for three. Right side. Over four. Yeah, over four. They are they're off to a helter skelter pace. Nothing to show for it except one free throw in the first two minutes of play. Gonna be a foul out top. Yeah, McKay got away with one foul, but the fisherman you know, did, did, didn't let him get away with the second foul. So his first foul of the ball game here. Inbounding. First. Carters, I'm sorry, Tim, of course, have a deep bench. Yeah, they do. They will, they'll rotate pretty deep up and down the uh, roster here. Good defense closing out. White has to give way to Houston. Three Cardinals got a piece of that one. It's finally picked up by Bynum. Here's Dorsey on the glass, off the glass and in. Bynum with the assist and Dorsey with the bucket. Yeah, Makai doing Makai things are running the floor greatly. And number five checking into the contest. Tim, he's not on the roster, but I'll show. That's actually uh, going to be DeAndre Brown Perry. He uh, 
had a late number switch. Gotcha. So thank you. That was passed on to me in the opening moments of the broadcast. I never passed it on to you. <laughs> I, Great what a, what a friend. What a friend. Nice drive. What a shot. Going strong off the glass is Gully. Yeah, Gully's averaging 11.9 on the season, and you can see why there. Explosive move to the basket. So one point advantage for the Buccaneers. Bynum around the corner. Pulls up, lets it drop, and score. Nice shot from Amon Bynum. Absolutely. The DePaul transferred delivering there for the Cardinals. Franklin almost drew the charge there. Baseline jumper over the top. Not there. Good closeout from Cisa. Yeah, Cisa with a block. Bynum likes that spot. There you go. And that's why. Knocks down the three. And that's uh, the first of five for TVCC. That's a good sign when Ahmad hits his second three-pointer, a uh, second shot. Close out over the three on the other side. Not there. Franklin pulls it down. They got numbers three on one out front to Bynum up. And Dorsey, one pass too many. Yep. Oh, my goodness gracious. I, I say it often. Sometimes it's okay to be selfish. Yes, indeed. Bynum from the right side. Not getting that. Franklin with the offensive board. Works it over to Cisse. Count the basket. Nice touch from the big fella. Cards up six with 16.04 to go. It is Trinity Valley leading Victoria here on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Trinity Valley, a little bit of a slow start, but boy, they come roaring back. Ten quick points up 10-4. They found that button that we always talk about teams finding and pushing, and they, they came back and played, played awfully well that last couple minutes stretch there in that opening segment. Yeah, they did, and, and uh, man, uh, Bynum, a big part of that, hitting that three, and it yeah, kind of jump-started things. just missed a second one after that, and if that had gone down, he might have been off to a big night. We've seen that from him before. Yeah, he's so efficient. Uh, mentioned at 45%, roughly 45% from behind the arc, and uh, just more barely miss that other one. Here's full court press from the cards out of the timeout. And they force a turnover. Turnover. Great job jumping out of jump into the press out of the timeout and forcing the turnover. You know that's how Marty Levinson drew that up. Yeah, Connor Miller uh, trying to uh, catch the inbound pass had two Cardinals immediately swallow him up. So at the 16 minute mark, chance to add to the six point lead. Backdoor pass, couple of cards going for it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Johnson and Cissé both had a pies on an alley-oop dunk on that one. Uh, they're, they're both saying, that was my ball <laughs> as they go down the floor. Uh, see if they can't uh, tighten up the D here. Tightening it up. Well, there's a, a quick whistle to tighten up some some uh, aggressiveness down in the paint. So here comes Bayou. He'll come on for Franklin. We saw him have a strong finish to the game, I thought, against Blinn the other night. He, he was a big factor down the stretch. Agree. He uh, definitely was. And he comes in here just under 16 minutes to go in the first half. Good, strong move. And what a play from Bayou. Boy, he got the block, but the quick hands. Now a foul on Dorsey, his second. That's two of Makai now. So Makai will have to... Sit checking in momentarily. It'll be Phil March. And March will come into the game with 11 three pointers, averaging 5.3 points and 2.5 assists per game. And no surprise there, free throws good. You're going to say that a lot if Victoria goes to the free throw line with an average of 77.1 on the season. Man, oh man. Good to see the uh, Cardinal cheerleaders back or hear them back. Oh, I mean, you have them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, I think there's just 63. Just 63. Just 63. 
But uh, not officially here. They're just here. You know, they're not in uniform today. But, and they're they're making their presence known. As are the Cardinals on the opposite. Absolutely. Side. Good drive. Baseline hangs, waits, and delivers. Drop that's it for Denim Johnson. Yeah, that's Denim Johnson's game. He is not shy about attacking the goals on the baseline. Great body control down underneath there and then lets it develop and waits for it, then attacks. Doubling up Victoria College, three-pointer on the way, not there. Johnson pulls it down. He'll bring it up the floor. Denim over to Bynum. Bynum for three. Not there. Fight for the board, not controlled by the cards. Actually, that was White that pulled it down. Kicked the leg out and draws the foul. I mean, the fourth team foul against the Cardinals, this, of course, will be a shooting foul. And the, the thing we talked about, you don't want to let them in at the bonus. Uh, they know how to deliver at the stripe. About to check in for the cards, Braden Wood. He'll get his first action of the day as Johnson has drawn his first foul. Braden has six three-pointers on the season. He's averaging 3.2 points a game. We saw him get a start right back after the first, the first game back from the break. Absolutely. So back for the second free throw. It's going to be DeAndre Brown Perry at the stripe. Goes two for two. They've yet to miss. They're perfect. Which is better than 77.9. <laughs> Even Tim Howard knows that, folks. Hey, <laughs> did I not set that over the net for you? Bump set spike is what we call that. So... <laughs> Four-point game. Here is a dribble drive now back out to March. Ten on the clock. She's say in the paint. Going to have to get out in the paint for a long time. <laughs> Drives. Pass underneath. Can't finish the dunk, but a reason why he was hammered going to the line. So that'll be on Kalen White. White picks up his first foul of the afternoon. Cissé goes to the line, averaging 5.4 points on the season. He has two in this one thus far. Yeah, that was that one that was near a three-point shot. He's got nice touch for the big fella. And as I say that, he misses the free throw. Cardinals are hitting 65.3% from the free throw line coming into the contest. That could be a very disparaging, you know, uh, between the two teams. Yeah, 12-point differential. There. Yeah, huge. This one both. both bounced out. Braden Wood closed out defensively there, and they'll work it across the timeline. That is in, out, and then finally <laughs> in. I think it's still three, though. Yeah, they don't Connor, get extra for that. Connor Miller with a three, and that's his 25th three-pointer on the season. He's the team leader for the Pirates. Big bucket for Miller. Draws Victoria within one. Bynum pulls up from three. Bynum for three. That's his second three-pointer of the contest, his 51st on the season. Averaging 17.6, made that look easy. He's got six here in the, and now his eighth point here in the first six and a half minutes of the game. Cards making them work, still 13 on the clock. In trouble, picked up, here come the Cardinals, march on the push. Phil measures the step, shoots, and rattles out. Picked up by Bynum, and then lost it. Here come the Bucks. Yeah, Marty Levers is going to call a 30-second timeout here. He's seen all he's seen. He will see that type of defense right there. Yeah, he, he will uh, take a moment to talk to his team. And they will check in momentarily here with the Cardinals at the uh, out of the break. But, man, what a uh, stretch here for Victoria. They were they were down 10 by four at the, at the media timeout. Yeah, down six and uh, came back to a 9-6 run here and or 9-5 run. And back within two. Well, here's how you, here's how you gauge your defensive effort, I think, against Victoria. You let them have a three-pointer, and, they, and they're only shooting 25.9% from the, from the on the season. So if they start hitting three-pointers, that just means you're not out there guarding those shooters. Good point there. As, uh, the and then we, we, we talk about shooters. Uh, we talk about uh, how uh, Ahmad has been in a slump for the Cardinals from three-point range. That's okay, folks. You let shooters shoot themselves out of slumps because he's a legitimate shooter. Absolutely. Shooter's going to shoot. And, you know, good things happen when shooters shoot. And he, from the vantage point of being in that slump, not off very much. It looks like he's a lot closer to where 
where he needs to be. It does. So he's I not, expect he's not it. banging him off the iron by any stretch of the imagination. The hold down inside there. Yeah, that that that's a hold. Whether you're on the turf or on the hardwood, <laughs> man, that was an easy call for the official. As uh, Living, the freshman Gerard Living, was like, man, you try and guard this guy. <laughs> he's he's a beast. Three on the way from Wood. Braden shot. Scoots off the back side. Cardinals have not been shy from putting the ball up in three-point range today. Shot is short. It's picked up by March. Still over to Bynum. Ahmad, little slip, but pulls the shot up. Won't go. Loose ball and a foul. It's going to be called on Mohamed Mbe. Yeah, the big man got a little bit too active inside that time on the board. Well, he has something to... Uh, Try and handle. You just now joining us. I mentioned earlier this afternoon the Lady Cardinals went on the road and defeated Tyler 69 57 at Wagstaff Gym. A big win for Precious Ivy and the Lady Cardinals. Absolutely. Congrats to them. Back down the floor. Here come the Buccaneers. Baseline drive. Knocked away. Good defense down low. Here comes March on the push. Phil almost got it trapped on. Braden saved. Not so quite. Not quite. Yeah, the Cardinals just turned it over. Unforced error, really. Yeah, that was one that they would uh, like another crack at there. Is eight. You're talking about a 15-13 game, too. It's not a game in which you've got a decisive lead, to be honest. No, you're you're, uh, you're nipping at the heels. A tie here with a bucket or take the lead with a three. And Victoria made the long drive up. And every, every minute you get them stay in the game, that confidence level on their end just grows and swells. Absolutely. They uh, want to be in it down the stretch. Burleson down low to White. White over the top, not there. Still March with a rebound. Victoria's one and done, though. They miss a shot. They get zero rebound. There's nothing happening inside for them right now. And Bay takes the ball on the block. Knocked away. And that'll be Cardinal basketball, I believe. Well, last touched on the uh, sideline there by Mohamed Mbe. No, they pointed at, okay. They, they pointed at... Uh, Houston, not in Bay. They, they got confused. Okay, so a little discussion over there, but it will be Cardinal basketball. Braden Wood inbounding. March looking for a screen. Shot on the way. Not there. Foul is coming. It's going to be called. Is that on 22 or number 10? It's going to be called on 10. Kalen White, and he's arguing that he was that he was being held. Kalen White picks up his second foul now. Dorsey's checking back into the contest with two fouls now at the 11.36 mark. Got a media timeout. So media timeout here. We'll step away. Good one going here this afternoon. Two-point advantage for Trinity Valley here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital. Our crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Order ahead on the app. Two-point advantage for the Cardinals here out of the timeout. The Buccaneers trying uh, to, to get over the hump and have not been able to. And they had a couple of opportunities but have not had anything to show for it. And I think that you see that Marty Levison is really, con not, I'm going to say he's concerned, but his, his offense is not flowing right now. So he's putting Makai Dorsey back into the contest, and Makai has two fouls on him thus far. See what they elect to do out of the timeout. Baseline drive, Denim Johnson hanging, reversing, scoring the bucket. Nicely done from Denim Johnson. Denim with five now to match the number on his jersey. Good take. Quick explosive step down the left baseline. Three on the way. Good closeout from Dorsey. Kept the body away from him so there was no foul. There's a left-handed layup. It's good. Assist 
from, I believe that was Johnson. It was, and Jenham did a nice job knowing that, that Makai was already down the floor. Jenham also did a nice job to uh, lift his hand up and help me out to say, yeah, that was me. <laughs> Shot on the way. I don't think he was listening to the broadcast. <laughs> One and done again, though, Benny. You've been talking about it. They are not getting any second chance opportunities. And Bay underneath and count the basket. Now the Cardinals are getting on a little bit of a run here. Marty Levis, I think, got their attention during that timeout. Uh, yeah, the team and everyone else in <laughs> the Cardinal gym might have heard. Tim was flinching, folks. <laughs> uh, I was under the <laughs> scorer's table. Again, one shot and a rebound. Here's a strong drive up. Kiss off the glass. Not there. Denham Johnson is, though. Can't get it to fall. That's out of bounds off of Victoria. That'll be Cardinal basketball. Yeah, that went off the hands of uh, Taylor White. Taylor couldn't quite control the rebound. So nearly the halfway point of the first half here, and the Cards have pushed it up to an eight-point lead. This would be a big basket here if you get up 10 at the 10-minute mark. Yeah, you're talking about it was 15-13 during that 11-36 timeout, and the 10-19 mark you got up your eight. Oh. Steps on the big fella. They got a little bit excited. They couldn't get a chance at layups like that. <laughs> Let's put it like this. He wasn't tiptoeing through the tulips. It's not what he was doing there. He's going hard to the basket, got an extra step. So Cards will put the D on, driving to the basket, and now a quick foul here on Muhammad Mbe. That's going to bring Alusa Asay into the contest for the first time tonight. This afternoon, I should say, Asay is one of three Cardinal players returning from last year's Region 14 Tournament Champion team. Denim, Devin Franklin and Ty Dorsett here, the only three players back in that squad. Here comes Franklin as well. So Cisse and uh, Franklin into the contest. Now already got Dorsey out there. And then Bayou and... So I said Woods coming back in. He's just stretching, stretching it out. So Johnson as well. Those are your five on the floor. Cardinal White. Ten minute mark. It is a six point game. Franklin. Oh, wide open underneath. Oh, my goodness gracious. There was no, there was no space there for a down. There was none. <laughs> Bayou says, uh, I'll have something to say about that, though. They felt that one in the Netherlands. How about it? Eight point lead. Cardinals up inside 10. First half of play. Ball knocked away. Franklin was like, are we playing kickball? That came right to me. It's like they rolled that one to me. Mackay over to Franklin. Denham Johnson. Twice now the Cardinals have been called for travel on inside the paint. Thought he had landed that two and three, but they said he shuffled his feet when he landed, so it wasn't a jump stop. A little shuffle on the landing. 15th checking into the contest without checking into the contest. Abel Houston. That's hard to do, checking in without checking in. Well, he did. But he made it look easy. <laughs> I would have advise that very often. So. <laughs> it's like, we're like a little libero in volleyball. He's right out on the floor. <laughs> Here I am. Love the closeout from Bayou. There's not anything he could do when he got the ball. He had to immediately get it back out. Oh, great Johnson, job. Close. Johnson anticipating that pass. He read that the entire way, Tim. You're talking about some defense. We're seeing it back-to-back -back plays here. And there's Johnson, the benefactor there. Victoria's got to be very careful here these last eight minutes, Tim. Closeout. They're getting one shot. That's that is it. Oh, man, behind the back, all the way up. and under. Thought wiser of it. So if we can get a better shot, then I'm in control. Here's a nice touch. Devin Franklin. His first points of the contest. Just like this, you're at a 12-point lead. And uh, Coach Thielen knows I need, to, I need to talk to my squad here. This one is getting out of hand. So Cardinals on the 12-2 run. 12-2 will get you a timeout from the visiting opposition. We'll step away. Cardinal Network. Cardinal Sports continuing after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. 
We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. It's a 12 point advantage for the Cardinals and a big reason why, look at it right in your living room here. Up and under, yeah, I'll finish that off for you. That was a wonderful close right there by the big man. So up to a 12 point lead, what has been, uh, in your opinion, how did the Cardinals get to that? Dominating the boards. Yeah, one and done, you can't say it one enough. One and done, they're dominating the boards and they're they're breaking. They're, they're running the forwards this afternoon. And a great job of the big man, uh, Bayou, when he, he had a break situation going on, but he recognized that the Victoria had numbers. Showed Pulled it back out. Pulled it back out. Absolutely. That's, that's you know, that's just good court awareness. Not have to force it if it's not there. And I think that's part of that timeout from a few moments yeah, ago. They were that, forcing a lot. That stretch of that ball we just saw from the Cardinals in that 12-2 run is they, where they played like the number six team in the nation. Yeah, exactly. Foul going to be caught here on the Cardinals, so it will be... No, before the shot, one and one for the uh, Pirates. One and one at the uh, stripe here, so it has to to connect here. Speaking of Gerard Living, and if you notice the turnaround from Makai Dorsey was has been put back onto the floor though. Yeah, at 11:36 mark when he went in, it was 15:13. Well, they missed a free throw and they missed the front end, so that's the best of both worlds for the cards. I didn't think it would happen to them. The things are going your way, they're going your way. <laughs> good drive and a good finish. Cisse. Alou Cisse goes hard to the basket and uh, man. Eight Cardinals have now scored, Tim, in this contest. I was going to say, we talked about the depth of this roster and we're going to see some of it here as they are uh, putting it on display here at Cardinal Gym this afternoon. Inside eight minutes to go. Strong move to the glass, not there. And more of the same for Trinity Valley. Yeah, the rebound totals are gonna be crazy in favor of the Cardinals. Bayou with that one. Franklin for three. Devin Franklin with the string music. Getting it done. His 15 three pointer on the season. He's got five in the contest. Shot that one with a lot of confidence. Good close out. And more of the Cardinals rebounding. Nice pass from Cisse. He gets the assist. The bucket goes to Dorsey. And Dorsey now with his sixth point. Suddenly they're up 19 points. Folks, at the 11.36 mark, it was 15-13. They've scored two points at that period. Makai Dorsey came back into the contest at the 11.36 mark too, I might add. Yeah, that's a, that's a uh, dominant move there. Devin Franklin, a little frustrated. He's like, I went straight up. I don't know that there was a lot of contact there. <laughs> he was pleading his case, but not going to get the call. 6.45 to go here. First half of play. Cardinals in a good, comfortable position after you mentioned 15-13 at that media timeout. They've since gone on a 19-3 run after that free throw. Completely changed the complexion of this game. Because you put you have put Victoria in a position now, Tim, obviously, where at some point they've got to go on a run. Yeah, they do. 19-2 uh, before that free throw. And now they've missed two of their last three. I'm I'm gonna say I'll keep talking about how well they shoot free throws. I don't mind. <laughs> that's coincidence? That's, I don't know. <laughs> 34, 16 here, six and a half left in this first half of play. Oh man, he was looking for help, it never came. And uh, Bynum just said, thank you very much. I know how to finish that. An odd with 10 points in the game to lead the Cardinals. Eight players have scored. Hanging, shooting, and not getting the result he aimed for. Franklin pulls it down, here comes March. March kicks out three on the way, not there. Picked up eventually by March. Him and Bynum. <laughs> Bynum, Bynum on March. <laughs> well, that's the only way we're going to stop him, looks will, like. Will he get credit for a steal there? Though? I was going to say, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to mark that down one way or the other. That was a, uh, that, that kind of uh, summarizes this afternoon, though. Didn't get the shot to go, but coming back hard and 
fighting defensively and, and forced a turnover. They didn't get the uh, end result, but Ed. It's just amazing what the Cardinals have done over the last six minutes. There has not been an uh, offensive cutback at all. No not, rebounds. Not for Victoria. They have zero rebounds offensively. Franklin just hit a three. This time they they uh, closed out on him. He said, I'm going to go <laughs> to the basket. Good quick move. 20-second reset on the shot clock. So 5.34 to go. Cards up by 20. If you're Victoria, you just want something positive to happen over this last five and a half minutes, Tim. And I'm not sure if there's enough positive that happen to overcome what you're looking at right now, a 20-point deficit. Yeah, you talked about them having to go on a run. Best case scenario for them is a three's on the way. That'll help. But best case scenario, close out this uh, first half with a good run and then start the second half with a good run. There's a foul coming here on CSA. I wasn't sure he was going to blow the whistle, though. Yeah, I, I said CSA. My apologies. That was on, uh, well, it was CSA. Mohammed CSA. Not Alou CSA. In my mind, I was you're wrong. You're a veteran of about, about apologizing for things you're not supposed to apologize for. Well, in my mind, I was wrong. I meant Alou, but I just said CSA. <laughs> but on air, <laughs> everyone thought CSA. Oh, he's right. What is the apologize? So, uh, 36 17. You did everything to say, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping those all over the living room floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They've doubled up Victoria even with uh, five minutes to go here. This early action this afternoon. Working the perimeter. Directing traffic over to Franklin on the baseline. Three-pointer on the way. Missing long. And a foul on the floor. That's going to be on, on number four, I believe. You're right, Tim. I don't have a number four. And there's the scores don't have a number four either. That's going to be a technical foul then assist against the Pirates. DeAndre Brown Perry was originally number zero. They moved him to five. So while we got a break in the action, get a chance to uh, hear Benny on air guitar. <laughs> not, not, not quite. Not, not really your... I will say this, though. The Cardinals have got to be real careful. I'm not saying real careful until they're up by 18 points. They yeah. want to make sure they don't get complacent here in this last 18, uh, last three, 448 and allow the Pirates to somehow get within 10 points going into the halftime locker room. Exactly, and that's that's one of those one of those things. One of those things you got to be aware of as uh, you know you start playing to strengths. It's going to be one free throw here for the Cardinals after the technical. So Bynum will step to the line for Trinity Valley. Makes the first one. Good set to go. So just so well, there's only be one. Actually. Only one, but uh, but makes the most of his opportunity. And at the free throw line on the year, Bynum is shooting right at 70 percent, 69 percent. So it's just a 16 foul against the uh, Pirates. To say low block goes strong. They're gonna get him for a shuffle. Yeah. Foul before that. He said, "There's a reason I shuffle my feet." <laughs> I'm being pushed. A little arm bar in the back will do that to you. CC will go to the free throw line with two points. Let's not hit a free throw today. See if he can do that here at the stripe with 442 left in the first half of play from Cardinal Jim here in Athens. Gets that one to go. 20 point lead. Now that's that's the thing. If you're uh, Coach Levinson, you 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 want to see this team just play a full two halves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you're the six-ranked team, you want to play like the six-ranked team, and there's no question about it. And he gets both the fall. Gets it to go. No, Nobody not happy by the losing the big lead down at Coastal Bend on the road the other night and having to hang on for a win. That's not a, anybody wants to do that. You'll take any win you can get. Right. Sometimes the, the style points do count. Yep, absolutely. So they are 
on their way here right now, but uh, see how they finish this half out as they're nearing the four minute mark. Defense has been really strong here this afternoon. Rattles that one home. That would be Kalen White, but yeah. got some help there. Got a almost a moving screen there from Abel Houston. Kept the big man from being able to come out over the top. And that was a big, big moment. Right now with 10 points, he averages 20 of 20 game for the Pirates. Skip pass over the March to Sasse. Blocked down low. Big, big fella there, Jared Hall, all seven foot of him. Stop he that. He got all the ball, that's for sure. Cardinals fortunate, last touched by the Pirates. So the Bucks get the block, but don't get possession. Timeout here with 3.49 to go. Media timeout, 39.20. It's Trinity Valley on top of Victoria here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. Surprise. Get two breakfast sandwiches like a sausage McMuffin with egg or a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit for just $5. Cardinal Sports Network continuing on in our 15th year here. Benny, this uh, off to a good start for Trinity Valley today. It is, Tim. And, of course, going into this week, the Lady Cardinals are ranked fourth nationally, and that'll, they would tumble from that after having lost to Blinn this week. And the Cardinals are ranked sixth. Somebody asked me earlier in the week, when's the last time both teams were ranked in the top, top six? I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was in 2016, on about this time of the year, when uh, uh, Bucket Bauman's Cardinals were ranked number one and Gerald Ewing's Lady Cardinals were ranked number two. So I think that's the answer to that question somebody asked me. Fun times, man. A lot of history in this gymnasium here. Historic Cardinal Gym. Cardinals keeping possession here. 347 mark. they got to be aware of that shot clock. Four on the clock. Yeah, somebody needs to point that out if they're not aware. Bynum moves, hangs, shoots, not there. And the rebound is taken by White. Kalen pulling that one down for the Pirates. There's nice pull up jumper. Nicely done, DeAndre Brown Perry out of Hiram High School. 17 point Cardinal advantage. Phil March thought he was gonna step into it, then said, hey, I can get a better look than this. We got plenty of time on the shot clock. Wood lost the dribble. March lets it fly. Tap around is controlled. Here comes Brown Perry. Chance for Victoria. They need to close out here in this final four to get something positive. You know, if they could get within 10 going in at the break, I think they'd feel real good about well, no that. Doubt. They've been down by as many as 20. Franklin there saying, nah, we're not going to let that happen on this position. We're going <laughs> to get that ball quickly down the floor. At some point, Victoria's got to get on the boards on the offensive end, or they got to start shooting at a higher percentage. One of the two's got to be true in the second half. They have not had an answer in the paint, whether it's been Cisse, Embe, um, on and on. The pick a Cardinal. Maybe yeah, Cardinal. Bayou, Franklin. Here's Wood for three. Not there. Drops too flat. Well, that's too hot to handle. Yeah. Get the assist over there to Miles. Had too much juice on it. That that was a hummer. Miles Pennington over there saved the day. <laughs> that one's coming at us. That would not go down as an official save. Though. <laughs> I don't think they gave him credit over there on the scorebook. I'm looking, but I didn't see that get marked. 205. First uh, final moments here of the first half. Here's the Carlos. You want to get some good looks here. You don't want to just be forcing up shots and. Not there. Well, oh, he tapped it to a spot. No one happened to be there. Tapped it over to the front row. 
You're right. That was uh there's a three-pointer on the way. Not there. An offensive rebound, Benny, and there's a... That's the first offensive rebound, no jokes. It's early that's in exactly first, right. First, it is half. That's yeah, they, sure. they've got to get some more of that going, and the Cardinals gave up a basket off of the goal team. It's just a 15-point game. Yeah. Yeah, they're halfway to where we talked about. They could close out half out at 10. They feel really good about things, but there's another turnover. Little discussion there with DeAndre Brown Perry. Well, he, Brown Perry's saying the ball was out on the Cardinals, and the official looked like, if I read his lips, I said, do you want a foul? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's exactly what he said. Now that I re replay that in my mind. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, man, good pass. Oh, my goodness. Right place, right time. That ball skips to him. He touches it off the glass and is fouled. He said he was six now in the contest. Chance to add to it here after the foul by number, I thought he said 23. It must have been 30. He, he, he oh, said, oh, he did say 20. Yeah, Jared did. Hall. Jared Hall. Free throw's good. Makes it a 42-24 game. Trinity Valley. That's the hard thing about when you get a lead like this. You you know, you're, you're cruising along. Another team starts coming back, and then it's a quick slam on the other end. You're back to a 20-point deficit. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, they run the floor well, though. <laughs> and, and back down the floor, Kayla White comes. Bayou is just riding him. Bayou was all over him there. Says, you're going to have to turn it at the stripe. Little... Uh, Explosiveness there from Victoria out of the, the made basket. First one's good. Fight now with 11 points in the contest. He's averaging 20 on the season. Let's see what they, how they finish this out, how they play this last minute here. Goes two for two. A little token pressure in the backcourt now by the Pirates. Yeah, DeAndre Brown Perry on top of Phil March. Bynum hangs, shoots, and scores. Nice Man, runner. love it. Creating in the air. Wood close out. Shot is not there, but the putback is blocked. Speaking of blocked, does kind of blocked from that. I'll look at the monitor here. She says it's going to be called for the personal foul. That's going to be. So she say will have. That'll be his third oh, foul. Oh, yeah. May have heard Marty Levinson telling us what he wants to play for one shot. There's 29.1 seconds left on the game clock in the first half. Cardinals up by 20, 46, 26. Yeah, they have. They have got a chance just to uh, eat the rest of this clock out. That won't go. So it's a great rebound by Bayou. Bayou was ready to take off to the races. Uncontested. He's like, look at here now. <laughs> One of two at the stripe goes DeAndre Brown Perry. So Cards will walk it up the floor here and try and get a look here up 19 to close out this first half. Brown Perry has five of the 27 for Victoria. Bynum is uh, sizing him up. Gets the screen up top from Bayou and Cissé three. It's nicely delivered. On cue, baby. Four. 49-27. Here's a long three to answer. Oh, answer. DeAndre Brown Perry. March just didn't fight across that screen there. And they get the three to answer. So it's 19-point differential. 49-30. Trinity Valley leading over Victoria. 
Benny with a few numbers before we go to break here. Well, I think the big number in the first half was at the 11-36 mark. The Cardinals were a 15-13, went on a 12-2 run when Makai Dorsey came back into the contest, and that really wrote the script for the first half. Yeah, I was circling number three as well. Dorsey was the difference there, and that's when they went to that big run. We're going to step away here and uh, get a chance to uh, look at the uh, routine here of the Lady Cards, and then we'll uh, go to break here. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. I was a runner. I was up to running three miles a day every morning. When I was diagnosed with lung cancer, I was shocked because I'm not a smoker. Baylor, Scott and White, the facility, the staff, everyone has been so amazing. I love, love the fact that I can breathe. When I first heard that I had cancer, I was referred to Baylor Scott and White immediately. It was really important for me to be able to get my chemotherapy and everything here because I wanted to be close to my friends, my family. They were so confident and made me feel at ease and supported me. I felt like I was their only patient and I knew they had several people that they were dealing with, but I was the most important person. I had like a week of headaches. Throughout that week, I went to my local hospital. They referred me to Baylor Scott and White. They gave me an MRI. The tumor that was inside of my head was cancer. Baylor Scott and White has given me this new technology that helps decrease the growth rate of my cancer cells. The doctor I have right now, he's just amazing. It's a great feeling to know the guy who's taking care of me actually really cares about me. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing cancer care for life. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. 
from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer, from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. From a work perspective, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful for working with a great team. I'm thankful for working for a company that's faith-based, and I'm truly thankful to be able to take time to pray with my patients if they need it. Having a good team to work with, and they're great. All, all my supplies are there. I got equipment if I need it, and it helps at a phone call away if I need that as well. I've never had a time where I didn't feel like that. I couldn't get what I needed to do my job. We work together as a team here at Baylor, and I really appreciate that. I'm thankful that I have the ability to work the physical ability, the mental ability. I think every day that I walk into the pharmacy, everybody greets me as soon as I walk in the door. And it's a small gesture, but it goes a long way and it starts your day off right. I do feel like I'm fulfilling my calling, even if it's you know, the last job that I have. I'm thankful for God leading me here to work. I feel like I am growing into a much better nurse and I've been a nurse for a long time. When I go home at the end of each shift, whether I had a bad day or a good day, I'm ready to come back to work the next morning. And I know a lot of nurses, unfortunately, don't get to feel that way about their job, but this is how we feel here. And it's not just me, it's everybody around me. My team, they welcome me and respect me, my differences, my culture, and I don't feel isolated when I'm with them. They welcome my ideas, you know, they're always there for me. We see people, a lot of brokenness, you know, physical, emotional, come through rehab, um, but just walk, just walking beside them in this and being able to help them get better, to see the outcomes of it is just, it's really rewarding. I mean, I'm so grateful for Baylor, really. I love it here. Baylor's a very good place to work for. It's different. I've worked at other larger hospitals and I would never go anywhere else. I'm thankful for what I do. I'm thankful for the patients that we take care of. Uh, I'm thankful for my calling, my ministry, you know, is helping those who can't help themselves, being there for them. So I'm, I'm thankful for all that I can do for someone else who can't do for themselves. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals, check. Free online banking, check. Easy access and friendly service, check. Close to home, check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. And welcome back to Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gymnasium on the campus of the Trinity Valley Community College in Athens, Texas. You are watching Region 14 Conference Basketball between the 6th ranked Cardinals and Victoria College Pirates. The Cardinals are at, he's handily at halftime, 49 to 30. I'm Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard and Tim. 
It wasn't always that way because at the 11-36 mark, the Cardinals led 15-13, and the 12-2 run sparked a 27-15 lead, and then they went on to lead 49-30 to at the half. Yeah, that's a, a big point in this ballgame because you mentioned it, 15-13, and now you're up 19. A uh, big part of that was that 19-2 run. And Dorsey, I think that, that was huge just seeing him because he comes back into the ballgame with two fouls and uh, really the offense had kind of steered away from what they want to do. And, and he got them back on he's track. He's got a calming effect when he's back on the floor. But I thought the key, the absolute key in that first half, other than the Cardinal def defense, was the Cardinals' domination of the board. Because I think Victoria got a two-shot situation in the, inside the first minute of the game. They got a, a two-shot situation in the last minute of the first half. Yeah, and in between, it was it was so dominant. There was not any, and it wasn't even close. I mean, there no, was no one within feet of the basketball. Well, they weren't contesting rebounds. Absolutely. So uh, that, that'll tend to do that for you, and Trinity Valley is uh, the benefactor of it right now. Cardinals led in that first half by Maude Bynum. He got up to a slow start. He did wind up at three three-pointers and a half. He hit 16, but here's the key thing, Tim. Cardinals had eight players scoring in that first half. Yeah, great distribution. They're getting the ball into uh, all all of the uh, the players on the floor. And just like you said, eight players. Only two guys that have actually played so far have uh, yet to get on the board. But that could change and change in a hurry here. Of course, no surprise that the uh, Pirates being led by Kalen White, he came in averaging 70, I'm uh, sorry, 20 points a game. If he'd averaging 70 points a game, we'd have a story. <laughs> 20 points a game, and he had 12 in the first half. Yeah, and so they'll they'll try to keep him going and get him moving the right direction. Get a chance to see on the board some of the uh, youngsters enjoying Cardinal basketball, man. Life's good. You got Trinity Valley, you got popcorn, and uh, a Saturday before, maybe a snowstorm coming to Texas. And I don't recognize the lady, but I recognize the, the M on the front of the shirt from Malakoff, Texas, home of the 3A Division I state champion Tigers, if you haven't heard, Tim. Congratulations, Coach Jamie Driscoll and his squad. Oh, I've heard. I've heard <laughs> a few, few times a guy to my left here might have mentioned it. Back to basketball with Tim Howard. <laughs> Thank you, Benny Rogers. It is uh, all Trinity Valley here. See how they start things out as uh, they'll be on the defense of things. Franklin working down baseline steps back a shot on the way not there it's rebounded by Sasse. had a big day on the board yeah he's he's been dominant drawing the double team and they work quickly over to johnson johnson kind of in trouble and good job by connor miller to steal it away but nakai dorsey says i'll take that thank you and johnson says i'll take that thank you so back to action after the assist from Dorsey and the uh, flush by Johnson. You see again though defense paying dividends for the Cardinals. Yeah, I think they talked about that defense as a Cardinals hit a long three to what looked like to close out the half, but then a three on the other end by Victoria kind of nullified that. They talked about it and now hustling through a screen and drawing a, ch a uh, charge. Cardinals will have possession. That's been a call on the big man Jared Hall. We're seeing Dorsey were teammates here when Jared was at the was at the college, so they were having a nice laugh between the two. Nice shot on the way, but didn't get it to roll. Unfriendly roll. And then Suse had a shot at it, but could not get it to fall. And that turnover is followed by a turnover. So as, as you talked about it going into the break, boy, Victoria is going to need a lot to happen their way in the second half, and it's going to be tough. And, 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 and for that to happen, it's going to have to happen in the first five minutes of the second half, and it's not showing that at this point. No, they're, they're really starting to feel some pressure, I think, as they're turning the ball over. Cards are working, making them work. Oh, got him trapped in the air and going to be yeah. called for a travel. Denham was a little bit undecided. I think he had made his mind if he was going to pass it off. And the last minute he decided to take the shot, but in the meantime, he took steps. Coach Marty Levinson not real pleased with his youngster there. He's just be more, more decisive. So with a uh, stoppage of play. And that hadn't been in the locker room at halftime for the Cardinals. I know it's what happened down at Coastal Bend in the fact that the second half they had a big lead. They collapsed. I'm sure they were talking about the intensity, especially coming out to start the second half. And we've seen good intensity thus far. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Here is a long three. Not there. That was a, a nice play from Braden Wood just to keep that alive. Franklin with a block. Yeah, high off the backboard block. That was fun to see. Didn't 
I guess they call them backboards anymore. <laughs> you know, they might call it the acrylic glass. No, we're not even in acrylic glass anymore. What are we calling these these days? 1801 to go in this ball game. The uh, cards are really, back to your point just a few moments ago, you want to close this thing out in big fashion. That's a good way to do it. Get it to a good fella in the paint. Good things, was 11. good things are happening as say connects there. Well, one thing's been consistent about the Pirates, though, is Kalen White. You can see where he, how he can average 20 points a game. Yeah, White's been a, uh, a steady, calming force for the Pirates this afternoon. But the Pirates can ill afford to change buckets. They just can't do it. No way that's going to get them back in it. Franklin catches it on the baseline. Good defense here. I think they were hoping that they could get a screen to free Franklin for the jam. Shot over the top. Not there. Rebound is taken by White. Kalen White brings it up the floor. Now on his way to Burleson. That three-pointer was blocked by Franklin. Franklin's got back-to-back -back blocks here defensively in the last two possessions. Braden, shot on the way. Not there. Franklin controls it, puts it up and in. Devin Franklin putting on a nice 60 seconds of uh, highlight reel here for us. The North 40 Falcon. Dorsey with a steal. Dorsey with a bucket. The guy Dorsey getting it done. The guy with eight points. 25 point lead, Trinity Valley coming out explosive here in the opening moments of the second half of play. Knocked away. Boy, that was, that was a little bit of, I'm gonna hit fake. No, you're gonna hit fake, I'll hit fake. I'm not gonna say he took steps, but. <laughs> Wood over to Franklin. Now Bynum says, let me measure it up. Pulls up, shot, not there, gets his own rebound. Out of control that time. Might have got a finger in the eye. Goes strong to the basket. Good finish there from Gully. And then Franklin did a good job of doing everything but, but fouling. Trying to defend the shot. Cardinals running a little motion here. Shot on the way is good. Count the basket for Dorsey. Makai now with 10. Dorsey into double figures. Card's about to uh, get back three more players coming on at the next stoppage of play. Bayer, Mbe, and Johnson. A guy getting a piece of the ball, but it does go out of bounds off of Devin Franklin's ankle. So Cardinals will talk about it here during this timeout. Should be a 30-second uh, timeout. So with Trinity Valley up 23 points here, Cardinals going to keep position. In fact, let's uh, let's keep it here. We'll get a chance to see the Carnets. So uh, in the break there, I know you were taking some notes and, and charting out a couple of things. What was your takeaway? Well, Cardinals are up 59-36 at this, this media time after 15-34 mark. Guy Ferg leaned over and showed me, I think, where he, if I interpret what he was telling me correctly, the Cardinals were up 70-47 to in that game down at Coastal Bend before Coastal Bend came surging back to make the 94-99. I think it's what Guy was telling me. So as they uh, look at this, it's a measuring stick. Hey, how are we going to close this one out? What do you... What did we learn from that the other night? And they will have 15 and a half to, to prove with a 23-point advantage. Good closeout from Denham Johnson. Oh, I like that. He's Man. A great. He's a nice-looking little player. Kalen White says that's good defense, but my shot's better. I, I mean, there's nothing you can do. He's not a little player. He's 6'9". <laughs> that, was, that was a great touch because, again, good defense here, but nothing you can do with that. If you're, if you're the Cardinals, you've I mean, you, you got this well in hand, but you don't want to do anything over this next five-minute period to really feed any confidence that, that Victoria may be lacking at this point. Yeah, you've, you've got them on their heels, on the ropes, and uh, you just want to keep the pressure on them. 
15.08 to go. We're going to have a uh, wet spot here. They'll try and clean that up real quick. Fisher's going to take care of that. You don't see many officials do that. And I, I a good sport about it, isn't he? He, he really is. The only time I've seen an official do that is when it gets stuck between the shot clock <laughs> and the, and the uh, glass. Oh. He'll be able to track it down on the inbound. So, Coming up on the 15-minute mark. Cardinals up nine, uh, 21. Ball knocked away. Still 10 on the shot clock. Oh, it's coming to... <laughs> Morty Levinson just played a face as displeasure and the official almost laughed at him. <laughs> yeah, he was not he was not happy with that decision there. Trinity Valley looked a little sloppy on that possession. Well the last couple of possessions have not been really crisp. No, they're Whoa, that ball rolls off the cylinder. Up and out. Cardinals will pick it up. Denham Johnson. And they uh, Shot is not there, Mohamed Mbe. Denham Johnson will draw the contact. Foul coming on Jared Hall. I think you see the intensity in which Marty Levinson is coaching shows you that how how intent he is on the Cardinals finishing this game strong. Yeah, a first half and a second half, not just moments. Uh, you want a full 40 minutes of, of quality, and the first free throw is good for Denham. Denham's now got double digits in the contest with 10 points. You talked about uh, distribution and, and Cardinals and how they've been able to have a lot of representation on the scoreboard today. They've got four players in double digits at this point. That says a lot. That says a lot right now as they are up 60 to 38, but four players representing double figures. Two for two at the stripe as Johnson now picks up his 11th. Pressure and knocked away by Braden Wood. Now a foul, it's gonna be on Braden Wood. His first foul of the afternoon. He's out of Gun Gunnison, Colorado, a 6'4 freshman. Freshman there hustling to the sideline. Cisse on for him, Alou Cisse. Have to quantify as you got Mohammed, uh, Mamadou Cisse as well. It's kind of an oddity. You have two CSAs on the men's team and two players with the first name of Kennedy on the women's team. It's interesting. It's enough to keep me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> Although you can't tell. Well, the, <laughs> it's like, I can't see the homework paying off for you, sir. <laughs> Well, you're setting yourself up today, Tim. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty good at it today. Uh, good drive. Boy, he lost that. That goes into the front row <laughs> from about 40 feet away. No doubt. Oh, and man, he's slow to get up. DeAndre Brown Perry. He hit hard. Takes a couple of breaths and has his teammate and, and Mackay Dorsey uh, helping them up there. Fourth foul there on Mbe. Yeah, Devin Franks is going to check back in. Devin's had a nice game for the Cardinals. He's got seven points, but he's got at least three blocks in this contest. Throw it out front. It's corralled by Connor Miller. Good D. Cardinals are defending well today, Tim. They have, and, and you, you talked about that in the free game that, uh, you know, if the Cardinals make them work it's going to be a long wow. afternoon that's a clutch shot we've had a couple of those from white he's, this he's got a very half. nice shot that's a turnaround jay there yeah that's a dagger when you've got good d close out d on you and you still are dropping it there's a nice jumper but not the result but he'll get his own rebound talking of bayo bayo skip pass tried to it's stolen by connor Here comes connor miller oh <laughs> I think they're letting a foul go because of that step, maybe. Then call it travel. Franklin to Bayo. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Little tangle underneath. Possession was long in the Cardinals. Cardinals keep possession. 21-point lead, TVCC. Three, three fouls here in this second half. Uh, two fouls for Victoria. Cardinals have been able to maintain that 21-point edge throughout, you know, and so you get some, 
have to think that that's kind of a, a gauge right there is to don't let don't let Victoria get inside of that to finish the game. Measuring it up, going strong, gets the roll. Count the bucket for Alou Cisse. Got down with four points in the game, averaging 9.7 on the season. Love him measuring the steps and then having the athletic ability to roll it up, spin that ball around and got the English to make it fall. Dots the eye and gets the three-point play. So cards up 24 with 13 minutes to go in this one. Boy, we've seen enough of Kalen White. That, that's the, he's got his average now. He's hit 20 in the game, and you still got 12 minutes to go in this one. Boy, he is filling it up this afternoon here. They got him going at halftime. I mean, he's he's been the one shining moment. Franklin way off on that one. Cardinals one and done on that trip. Ball rolled up the hip. Right, offensive rebound and a bucket. So 12.24 to go. Timeout coming on the floor. Trinity Valley up 64-44 right here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. Trinity Valley basketball continuing on here from Historic Cardinal Gymnasium. I'm Tim Howard along with Benny Rogers. It's a 20-point lead, but... Man, the Cardinals still working hard. Uh, Coach yeah, Levinson coaching hard. Yeah, Cardinals were up 19 at halftime, folks, 49 to 30, and they're up 20 now, so they, they built on that lead by one. I mean, even I can do that math. But the thing about it is, it's been kind of sloppy this last three or four minutes, and it's, you, you can tell that it's getting on the nerves of Marty Levinson, the first-year head coach. And yeah. he used a timeout there that he ordinarily wouldn't use when you're up 20 points. But he's trying to snap his squad back into it by getting their attention like they did during the timeout with the 11.36 mark of the first half. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more with you there, and he's he's definitely saying, guys, we, we've got to continue on here. We can't get sloppy. That's that's just not, not going to bode well down the stretch. So yeah, here's a full court press. It wouldn't bode well in the next practice either. <laughs> Which might be after this game if things don't improve. Just kidding. Kind of. Good close out on that baseline there. Going up. Look at the big fella get up and elevate. I say big fella, 6'8", but plays much bigger. He's he's really been very impressive over the last few games. 6'8", sophomore out of the Neverland. Knocked away. Got a piece of him, I guess, in the uh, traffic there. So with stoppage of play here. That's going to be his second personal foul, team fourth. So they're still inside 12 minutes. Now we've got the media timeout. Everybody it's gets a, a timeout these days. <laughs> you get a timeout. You get a timeout. <laughs> timeout on the floor. More after this from Athens, Texas here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Our crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's Spicy Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Order ahead on the app. Trinity Valley leading here with uh, 11.55 to go in this ballgame. Benny, your thoughts as they come out of the break? 
finish strong. Finish, yeah. I mean, you could, the game's really in hand as far as the final score, I mean. But you've got to finish strong. Because you've got a tough stretch coming up. You're about to play Lee, and then you're about to play the teams in the north. Oh, by the way, and you've got and, and Marty Levinson knows what's at stake these last 13 games. Yeah, and you, you, you've done things right. Don't get sloppy with it. And, uh, you're, you're not going to be able to do that down the stretch here in conference play. There's Taylor more of what we saw. The, he thought he was fouled, I think. More of what we saw in the first half there. Good rebounding. Everybody had a body on a defender to clear it out. Stolen away. Here comes DeAndre Brown Perry. Oh, wow. Nice play there. Draws the foul and the finish. DeAndre Brown Perry with a bucket. And... Three-point play opportunity. Cardinals up 22, up 19 at halftime. So they, they, they've got a three-point edge in the second half, but they just haven't looked as crisp as they did in the first half. Got a chance to look at the uh, replay there. DeAndre Brown, Perry, did a good job. Got Cissé in the air, cross contact, and then just aerobic, acrobatic shot. Delivers the free throw to make it a three-point play. Here comes full-court press. See how the cards attack it. They'll, uh, they'll let Bynum just bring it across and set it up. Still 15 on the shot clock. Thought about a three. Now goes inside to Franklin. Back to March. Baseline shot. Not there. And now the Cardinals are going into a series where they're one and done on the offensive end. Yeah, that's... That's, that's the recipe for letting... Victoria ease back into the contest. And if you missed the pregame uh, earlier today, we talked a little bit about that Coastal Bend trip this past Wednesday night. They were up 17 at halftime. Coastal closed it out to a four-point game. So that's still in the back of your mind. Here's some rebound. Franklin out front to March. March drives, draws a contact, but they're going to call an offensive foul. Yes, they are. Phil March not happy with the call. Cut him with the right I'm thinking Makai Dorsey is going to make an appearance, a reappearance in the game here very shortly, I would think, with the Cardinals. He was... Uh, they need to settle down just a little bit. 15-13, he came into the ball game. It was a 15-13 score. Had been on the bench with two fouls after a quick start. And that's when uh, Cards would turn it around. Went on a 19-2 run, but uh, you're right. Things have looked a little less than perfect. Miller hit a shot, and he, was, he, he took, had contact on it as well. He was looking for the foul, and he deserved to get, have a foul call against the Cardinals on that play. Would have had a three-point play opportunity out of that. Have we got a 17-point oh, game? Boy. Just a, not on the same page there. Wanted a zig, he got a zag. So the uh, turnover at the 10-10 mark here in the ball game. Knocked away. Franklin may rip the rim off. No, it's still intact, but the, the rim is uh, <laughs> definitely rocking. Devin Franklin, good good defensive play there to anticipate that and then benefits with the dunk on the other end. Three-point shot from DeAndre Brown Perry. 16-point game. Perry's now got 14. Your yeah, they're knifing back. Everything on the field. Drive underneath, that's last touched by the Pirates. Cardinals need a good possession here. <laughs> Marty's trying to coach from about 10 feet out on the floor and the official asking could he step back just a little bit. Please. Can you get at least behind the three-point arc, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading, reading minds on that one. Franklin with possession, five on the clock. Johnson in the lane. They don't know it. They're not going to get the shot away. It's just... Boy, that's that's a frustrating force is coming on the floor. The thing you worry about, Tim, when you when you, if this happens to you back to back, a pattern can become who you are if you don't watch out. It easily could. And, you know, here are the Pirates coming all the way up from Victoria. And let's be honest, the Cardinals have a lot of tougher games coming up than their uh, team they're facing today, to be, just to be honest about it. Oh, goodness. Going to have a three-point play coming. 
We DeAndre said, Brown Perry for the bucket. And we said that Victoria would have to go on a run. I think we're in the middle of it now. Yeah, they're on that run here, and they, you know, they're clawing their way back in it. Can pull within 13 with a free throw here. It's a 24-point game at the 15-34 mark. He does. We've talked about how well they shoot free throws. You don't want to let a team like that get back in it here. Dorsey up the floor, right side. Finds Denham. And you can see Victoria's up on their toes playing defense down now. Yeah, they are. They're making the cards work. Bynum. Backing him down. Fade away. Shot is not there. Franklin had a chance at it, but lost it. And that's well, that's just not a, a great possession there. Franklin almost bailed him out, but uh, that fadeaway baseline shot, they can get a better look, you would think. Kind of just settling right now, it seems. It's uh, a three-pointer here, and you're at a 10-point ball game. So it's a 10-point ball game. 10-point ball game. Tim, seriously, at the 15-34 mark, the Clovis was 59 to 35. Yeah, it's man, that's a big one. Timeout on the floor here. The cards are try to talk it over. At the 8-24 mark, we will step away. Cardinal basketball continues after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Fifty-nine to thirty-five game for the Cardinals with fifteen thirty-four left. But oh my, how things have changed! They it's have to fifty-eight now with eight twenty-four left in this contest. Can't Ten-point game and Benny, you were doing all the uh, heavy lifting, all the number crunching. What'd you come up with over there? It's a, quite a run for Victoria. Twenty-nine run for Victoria. Twenty-three nine run. We talked about the cards on a nineteen-two run that they had earlier, but uh, well, they've answered twenty-three nine. You're back to within ten, and uh, you got to get. Back to how you got to that lead. And the Cardinals know what happened down in Coastal Bend and how that lead got away from them down there. They did hang on and win. So, like you, as you pointed out, it's got to be running right through the back of our minds. Here we go again. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to give Victoria any kind of confidence here. Still a long way to go in this one. And that's a free throw shooting team that, uh, you know, quite honestly, they're, they're in the driver's seat at the free throw line coming up. Drive from Dorsey. And a finish from Mackay Dorsey. A much needed finish by Mackay Dorsey. Yeah, you got to get him back in the, into things. He's got 12 now. That's a, a big big answer there. You definitely don't want to let them have a chance to, to get under 10. Here's a three on the way. Well, they're under 10 now. Yes, they are. Nine-point lead after the three from DeAndre Brown Perry. Yeah, and Victoria hitting after three-point range, and they're only ever hitting 25.9% of their shots from three-point range on the season. Perry has 20, and then Allen, uh, Kalen White has 22. That's your two leaders for the Pirates. Baseline jumper on the way, not there. Oh, man, here comes a fast break. They will set up for three. Pull up for three. DeAndre Brown Perry is... Lighten it up, this my goodness. White Knuckle City now, the final 7 Six-point game. Johnson's going to be fouled out front. That's going to be on Connor Miller. You think about that, Tim. With 15-34 left, it was 59-35. to 35. Oh, my goodness. 59-35, and here we are at 70-64. That is crazy. That's a 30-21 run. <laughs> no, 30-11 run. Yeah. Sorry, my math. It's more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing if I could get one past you. So 14 on the clock. Bynum. A shot will go. My he needed goodness. that to go big time. 
needed every bit of that. Gets it to go. It's an eight-point advantage. Trinity Valley. Dorsey working hard out top. Closeout's good, but not good enough. How about Kalen White? He's money. He has proven his worth here. 24 points. Victoria's definitely the team playing with the most confidence right now. Six and a half to go. They're playing with house money. They're like, this one was done for. Now the cards have all the pressure on them. It'll be free throws here as uh, DeAndre Brown Perry draws a foul. It almost feels like you're giving away two points here. Yeah, it does. Brown Perry will step to the line. He's a six-point game. It's a six-point game. About to be even closer, you would think, as Brown Perry has been lighting it up as his team has. They come in shooting great behind the free throw line. You're the number six team in the nation. You just can't let this kind of thing happen to you on a back-to-back -back basis. DeAndre Brown takes a look at him. A couple of breaths now and lets it fly. A lot of credit to Victoria, though, Tim, because they have really fought back that when he looked like there was no hope in this game at the 15-34 mark. Yeah, they, they have. They didn't hang their heads. I, I think they said, hey, what do we got to lose? Man, let's just go out and have some fun. And they're playing like they have no pressure. They're within four points. 72-68. Card's going to run, set up the offense here, and they'll work through Bynum. Bynum had to go off his leg, out of bounds, off Trinity Valley. Right, just unforced error. Yeah, unforced error there. Looked like Living was trying to be up with him, but he didn't really close out. Just had that one climb up his hip and off his leg. Under the six-minute mark. Chance to draw within two or one with a three. Pulls up, DeAndre Brown Perry finally misses something. <laughs> Kai Dorsey draws a bucket and the foul. That is a big circle, that one. Well, there's no question who the go-to player is for the Cardinals. 72-68, they had a ball that just misses on one end and the Cards go back the other one with a bucket and a foul. See if he can't finish here. Mikai looking for his 15th point in this contest at the free throw line. Mikai gets it done. It's now a seven point lead. Wow. See if the defense can come back to life for Trinity Valley. We talked about that in the opener. If they worked hard on the defensive side of things, there's a travel coming here. They're going to call a push. Uh, it's going to be on Bynum, Ahmad Bynum. A one and one for the Victoria Pirates. Going to the line is number 10, yep. Kevin White, who's got 24 Second. points in the game. One one. Yeah, White has been dominant today, especially here in the second half. He and uh, Brown Perry have had. They've got 50 points between the two of them. They got 50 of the 69 points. Yeah, if you find an answer for number 10 and number five. <laughs> You're probably going to be all right. He's got 26 now. If you find the answer, pass it along. I was going to say, I, I don't know the answer at this point. I've been shooting lights out. Splitting the defender. There's, there's one way to do it. Let Dorsey go and dish. And then Embe, uh, sorry, Sisse, finish. Sisse was 13 in the game. But again, it came off of a Mekhi Dorsey drive. And that's what the car, how the Cardinals turned that blend game around there, but I finished it out. I think so. Great job from Denham Johnson. Gets it out front to Bynum. Bynum will go up and get a dunk. That'll make it a nine point lead. Cards are going to get the crowd into it here, and a timeout is coming for the Pirates as they will uh, try and figure things out after a 4 0 run from Trinity Valley. 79 70 with 4.56 to go stick around final moments coming up after this on the cardinal sports network prosperity bank offers free checking let's take a look no monthly maintenance fee check no individual check fees check free debit card check unlimited withdrawals check free online banking check easy access and friendly service check close to home check simply free checking from prosperity bank is simply free i'm taking these checks to the bank Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. 
Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Vinny Rogers and Tim Howard along with you on the Cardinal Sports Network from Leon's Mission Florida Historic Cardinal Gym. Cardinals are up 79-70 with 4.56 to go. Victoria had cut a 59-35 deficit into a 72-68 deficit at the 8.24 mark. The Cardinals have found a little bit of ground since then. Makai Dorsey has really become aggressive and, and scored a couple of layups. And bank and off off for another bucket, and that's going to score Tim this last minute, minute and a half. Yeah, uh, when good things are happening, it's usually going through Dorsey. He is, uh, you know, he's either scoring or he's dishing. And, you know, to their credit, they feed off of his energy and how he's been able to, to get things rolling. So it's been a big 4-0 run because, man, this thing was – Look like they were dead in the water, and they've come roaring Prosperity back. Prosperity Bank offers you know, free check. The Cardinals winning some style points today and finish strong. At this point, you're going to take a, you'll get a win, so you'll take any way you get it now. Absolutely. Drive to the basket. Good closeout defense there from Denham Johnson. <laughs> Denham's going to be called for the foul. It'll be two free throws. So Kalen White will be back at the strike. Man, oh, man. It's a nine-point game. And fight with 26 points going to the free throw line. These are probably money in the bank here. I would think so. Hope those legs start burning, but he's like, no, you know, I'm I'm got 27 points on the a I'm, I've got 27 points in the afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and what is it the kid saying? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling yeah. it. Uh, he's feeling it. And then some. <laughs> he needs to quit feeling it. <laughs> Two for two. Boy, he's been a fun player to watch. He really has been. He's been fun to watch. I wish he could cool off for the rest of the game, though. Boy, he's been lightning. From a Cardinal perspective. Right? Absolutely. And then you got DeAndre Brown Perry. He's got 25. Flirting with disaster at the uh, backcourt there. If you're Victoria, you've got to deny McCock and Dorsey to drive. Down low. They get it on the block. Back to Dorsey. Still eight on the shot clock. Whistle down low, foul coming here on Abel Houston. It's going to be his third personal foul. Yeah, Abel just uh, too much body down in the paint. 16th foul, so the Cardinals will be in the bonus on the next foul against Victoria. Almost. It is going to be tied up. That's going to be going a turnover on the Cardinals. That is a turnover. Just not real crisp down the stretch here in the last few moments. The Cardinals get more frustrated, I think, than anything here as they, they feel this. Just got it. You got to find a way. You want to win of any sorts now. Indeed. Approaching the four-minute mark. Three on the way. Not there. It's pulled down by Cisse. That guy Dorsey. Up the Cardinals can begin being a little bit deliberate. They can't shut it down offensively, but they can be a little deliberate if they won't chose to be. Dorsey's going to draw the foul. He'll go the line, shooting two, but it'll be bonus the rest of the way with that foul. But, again, shooting foul, so he should have two free throws coming. That's the first personal foul in the contest against Brown Perry. Going to have a timeout with uh, under four minutes to go here, so we'll step away. Final... Four minutes here on the Cardinal Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention might just be the prescription. Teaching is on the treatment plan. And everyone is always on the same team. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing health care for the better. And welcome back. 79-72, Trinity Valley leading over Victoria, but not by much. But Tim, we both just kind of scratching our heads a little bit during that time. I posted, you want to get back, look behind the curtain. Well, let me let me break it down Didn't for do you. That. Okay, so Trinity Valley had that 19-2 run, but then Victoria comes back with a 23-9 run of their own. That's bigger than 19 <laughs> That's taking you really behind the curtain as Benny, you, uh, you couldn't help but laugh at my uh, mathematics over that one. But yeah, it, the, the, the difference has been credit to Victoria. They, they just started battling and haven't looked back. 
And if you're the Cardinals, then you just keep your composure. Sure. You got the lead. They, 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 they had a three-possession game. Mikai Dorsey going to the free throw line. You're in good shape. You just got to play defense and don't send Victoria to the free throw line. Oh, my goodness. That one rattles off. So, uh, yeah. With each with each possession, it feels like the Pirates are putting a little more pressure on Trinity Valley here because, you know, you're they're still in this thing. Seven-point lead with Dorsey trying to build it to eight. Gets the second. Oh, short on the free throw. That's not in the recipe for closing out a game. No, that's that's definitely not uh, <laughs> in the blueprint. Down low, still with oh, hook. My. Oh my! And I, it's a five-point contest. 79-74. That man's got 30 points in the game, folks. He's the real deal. That is an impressive battle. Going strong. Fight for the board. Not there. Who's going to get it? It's finally pulled down by Houston. Abel Houston gets it off to DeAndre Brown Perk. Houston baseline jumper. Not there. It'll be controlled by the Cardinals. I mean, the Cardinals, you got a five point lead. You got three minutes left in the contest. You got 22 seconds still on the shot clock. That's, that's a, how you answer. That's a big three. Bynum said, I'm going to uh, do a little step back three. Does and knocks it down. He's so, got four three pointers in the game, folks, and he's got 23 points in the contest. Coming that in. There. That was a massive dagger right there because. You, I was about to question the fact that he put up a shot with 22 seconds left in the shot clock. Uh, Not that I, that matters whether I was going to question it, but that's what was coming out of my mouth. If, if it doesn't go, it's definitely circled on the score. Like, what? It, why are you forcing that one? Here's a pick. Here comes the Cardinals on the run. Dorsey attacks, splits the defender. He's fouled, and the bucket. So big, big trip there. Embe to Bynum. To Dorsey. A chance for back to back three point plays for the Cardinals. And we talk about this so often is, man, it takes so much to climb back into the game. How much do you have in reserve on the tank if you get there? And the Cardinals have kind of exploited that here on the last couple of possessions, getting down the floor. Dorsey gets that. You can dig out of a hole sometimes, you don't have anything left to fill it back up. So approaching two and a half minutes. Thought about a three. Now, Cards are making them work. DeAndre Brown Perry was calling for it over on that left side. They're going to swing it. Well, they've, they've definitely tightened up the D on him. They're like, we're going to make someone else beat us here. Connor's shot is rebounded by Bynum. Mackay. What just happened there? I missed it. Uh, technical foul is going to be charged to Connor Miller of uh, Victoria. So Miller definitely not happy about something. He got whistled for the tech. Bynum will go to the free throw line for the Cardinals. So Bynum will try to add to it. 11 point contest here. He's got 23 points. Missed that one. Got one more to go? Yeah, it was on sports for my conduct uh, technical foul. So Bynum will uh, step to the stripe. 2.05 to go in this one here. And it's good. So my Bynum now with 24 points, but he doesn't lead all scores, folks, because no. Kalen, Kalen White for the Pirates has 30 in the game. And you look up, DeAndre Brown Perry's got 25. <laughs> Holy cow. 55 points between the two of them. Yeah. There's only 19 other points to count. 24 for. doesn't even get you in the top two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough crowd. It is. Devin, inbound, Dorsey. An offensive. So a foul coming here on Gully. Listening in, it's, it's uh, must hear audio. <laughs> 201 to go here. Dorsey 
has 18 points as he goes to the free throw line. See if he can't get to the stripe here. Gets that one to go. Dorsey will get that to fall. Two oh one to go here. It's a 13 point game. Dorsey trying to add to it. Mackay has been the uh, he's been the difference maker, and as is usually the case, number three, Mackay Dorsey, the sophomore out of Plano, gets that one to go. Back up to a 14 point lead here with under two minutes to go. Mackay with 20. Clutch performance from the sophomore. Franklin closing out. Working hard defensively. Oh boy, there's a little ticky tack there. Tick that, I, I think that had something to do with the conversation I was just listening to here at half court. Tim, I want this is this is kind of really listen to this. Victoria came in averaging 79.6 points a game and came in giving up 91.9. So they're playing about to their average today. That's what I was about to say. It looks like uh, where we're at on the board as he gets that to fall. Gonna be real close to that, you would think. Still, not out of the woods yet. 11-point game. Boy, these guys have been shooting the second half. Nothing is safe. March will take that foul, and he'll go to the stripe for two for uh, for a one and one. Actually, going to be a double bonus. yeah, double bonus. So he'll get two free throws following the foul on Gully. So March has. What looks like to be a route at one point, folks, has turned into a decent ball game here in the second half. You're right. It has definitely. Gets the first one to go. That's his first point of the afternoon. Nine Cardinals have now scored in the contest. Phil's, Phil's only shooting 50% at the strike coming into the game today. So I probably shouldn't. Have, but I'm thinking I'm going to make it the other way. And I did. See, I, I Reverse, bonus, bonus, right. reverse. Usually when you try. <laughs> right, folks, right. 90 to 77 chance to uh, close this one out. Oh, that ball is loose on the floor for a while. Finally corralled by Gully. Stolen away. Here come the cards. They got the numbers. Three on one. Bynum passes it off to Franklin for the jam. Crowd on their feet here at Cardinal Gym. They're up 15. Devin Franklin with 11 points. Five Cardinals at double digits. Could close out, oh, but oh man, he's he's putting on a show, isn't he? He got 32. That's legit. That'll 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 preach. That is nicely done, man. He's been a he's been a something all afternoon. Final minute here at Cardinal Gym. Mod Bynum sees a opportunity, passing it off, getting a jam to the big man to say. It's how you finish, folks. It's how you finish. And Bynum gets the assist. Here's a three on the way. Short rebound by Franklin. Passes it off to Cisse. March with the ball. Running a little clock. Running a little clock. Franklin could have shot that. Said, no, no. We're going to run some clock here. Eight on the shot clock. <laughs> Bynum, three on the clock, long shot. Count the three! <laughs> He's going to go to the free throw line. He just got his first two points a couple of moments ago. Hits a three, now going to have a chance for a four-point play. What the celebration what is a, worth it all. Oh, man. absolutely. What a finish by the Cardinals. Focus with... Just under eight minutes to go in the contest. It was 72 to 68 Cardinals. I'm going to let you do the little run oh, they've gone on here. You always do that to me. Yeah, that's a, that's man. That's how this one's going to probably end. They'll get a one more basket on the drive. And that will make it 98-81, the final here as the Cardinals get the win. What a performance this afternoon. A lot of athleticism on display today. The Cardinals outscoring Victoria 26 to 13 in the final seven minutes of the contest. That's impressive. They needed it. It was a great rally, but uh, Cardinals too much down the stretch. Well, it wasn't always pretty, folks, but the Cardinals do get the win to protect that number six national ranking. They improved to 15 and two overall, 6 and 0 in conference play. Victoria falls to four and 11, one and five. The Cardinals are at Lee College on Wednesday night in a huge game for the outright lead in the Region 14 Conference if the Cardinals can win that. Let's break down the score of the leaders for the Cardinals. McCoy Take. Dorsey had 20, 
Denham Johnson had 11. Ahmad Bynum had 24 with four three-pointers. Devin Franklin had 11. And Muhammadu Sasay had 15. What a game for the Cardinals. Like Big I said, Kim, it wasn't always pretty, but it's a win. A win is a win, and then they end up getting up by 17 for the final. So congrats uh, to Coach Levinson and his squad to find a way. Uh, final, final thoughts. We'll be back Wednesday with, uh, who do we have Wednesday? By the Wednesday way? No, night. No, 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 Wednesday. Both teams are on the road Wednesday. Our next game will be next Saturday here at Cardinal Gym with the uh, yeah, that's Lady it. Cardinals at home against Coastal Bend, I believe, isn't it? I think you're right. I'm looking right here. Goodness, I'll have to be smarter than the score sheet. Yeah, the uh, We'll be with you next Saturday, folks. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll have a game for you, I promise. Coastal Bend coming on against the Lady Cards. On the 20th, right? Yes, yes. At 2 o'clock. So I know it wasn't a very good finish for us, but the Cards <laughs> finished a lot better than we did, folks. And we thank you for joining us on the Cards Sports Network. For Tim Howard, the entire Cards Sports Network crew, this is Benny Rogers saying good night from Cardinal Gym in Athens, Texas. Stay warm. <laughs>